Well, whether you've already gotten your Christmas tree yet or you're waiting a little bit longer now, there's one thing you can expect. Yes, higher prices. Jennifer, you stopped by a Christmas tree farm today. What did you see? You know, are they affordable? What's going on here? Well, there's definitely a wide range of prices that you can choose from depending on the size of your tree, how wide it is. But yes, prices are definitely up. But you know, the mood is so festive out here. I've seen a lot of families taking pictures next to this giant Frosty the Snowman that's here as well. Another factor to keep in mind while you're shopping, Christmas trees, there are a shortage and they are expected to possibly sell out before Christmas. Drive up to Bustard's Christmas trees, you'll see workers decked out in red and green. 11 different tree varieties and beautifully adorned decorations and wreaths. The Hesseys have been coming for the last 20 years. It's a family tradition. We always do a real tree. It's so pretty this time of year. And he takes really good care of it, so it lasts after Christmas for a while. Traditions may stand the test of time, but families are also noticing the sticker shock. I want to say last year, 65 this year 89 for the same comparable tree jay bustard's family started the tree farm 93 years ago costs are rising and he says expect to pay five to 15 percent more for christmas trees this season there's also an ongoing tree shortage we fortunately lined up a, a bunch of trees so we're going to have more trees than last year but I still don't expect to make it to Christmas. Bustards anticipate selling between six to 7,000 trees, and you heard right, they will likely sell out in a few short weeks. And, I love uh, irregular trees, and I don't like perfect trees. Yeah. Expected to pay more, it's just the world we live in, and um, supporting a local place versus running around and trying to save a few dollars here and there just yeah. isn't worth it. This year, Bustards is the co-grand champions of an international decorated wreath contest. And back in 2015, their 18-foot tree graced the White House. We actually gave it to Michelle Obama. It was put in the blue room. But their biggest honor continues to happen right here every year with a front row seat to many family traditions. We have a, a gentleman, Mr. Shellhammer. He went to school with my mother. He's 95 years old. And he comes here every year like clockwork or Black Friday. Yeah, so a steady flow of families coming here to Bustard's Christmas trees to pick out their perfect tree for Christmas 2022. A couple other factors that I heard from the owner here, the dry summer did impact some tree farms, but luckily Bustard's was spared. And also think about the farmers who are getting older, retiring out with no one new to replace them. But the best piece of advice, if you haven't gotten your tree yet, it's better to get on it sooner than later. Reporting live in Lansdale, Jennifer Lee, back to you guys. You know, my dad used to always get the fresh tree on Christmas Eve. Oh. That's, that's when, that's when the, you can get a really good deal. Yeah. <laughs>